It has been very, very dry. 18 days since our last rainfall, if you can believe it. And with that, with the drought monitor being released today, no surprise we're seeing conditions get worse and worse statewide. Severe drought has not only been here in the Denver metro area, but now it has expanded up through Logan and Weld County. Also, we're seeing dry conditions and moderate drought expand out across the western slope and eastern plains. And unfortunately, we just have no relief in sight over the next seven days. Our rain chances zip zilch zero. We are not tracking any rain in the forecast for the next week. As far as temperatures go, that's the other big weather story. We remain well above normal for this time of year, which is 68 degrees. Today, 84 for a high. Tomorrow, a cold front will drop temperatures, so it'll feel a little more like fall for the end of the week. But then we ramp things back up on Saturday with a high of 83 degrees. That doesn't last long, though. Another cold front moves through the second half of the weekend. We'll be back in the 70s on Sunday and into early next week, but temperatures, even though they'll be cooler, they'll still be well above normal. Today we'll top out in the low to mid 80s here in the Front Range and across northeast Colorado, but it's going to be quite toasty down in southeast Colorado. Lamar checking in at 90 degrees. Up in the high country, we'll be in the upper 60s and low 70s with 80s out to the west. Here in the city, 85 for a high, 84 in Inglewood today with 84 in Aurora as well, and in Arapahoe County. We'll see the mid to low 80s from Columbine Valley down through Littleton and South Glen. In the Cherry Knolls neighborhood, it'll be mostly sunny today. Just a light breeze outside with the winds out of the west southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour, topping out at 83 degrees. Tonight, we will see some relief from that heat with temperatures falling into the low 50s. It'll be partly cloudy, very mild and calm. And then tomorrow, we are tracking that change. Early in the morning, a cold front will move through. We will see some increased cloud cover. Unfortunately, it's a dry cold front, so we're not going to see any moisture associated with this, but we will notice some cooler temperatures. Your out the door forecast for your Friday temperatures topping out in the low 70s tomorrow, so we will see that taste of fall with sunshine by the afternoon. Looking ahead to football Friday on Friday night, looks like the weather will cooperate with beautiful conditions. Kickoff 67 degrees, but by the fourth quarter, temperatures falling into the low 60s, so it will cool off quite a bit. Good idea to bring a jacket with you. And then looking ahead to this weekend, where heat returns on Saturday. 83 degrees for the Broncos game on Sunday. You can't beat this kind of weather. 75 degrees It'll be a beautiful fall day for that game with dry conditions and mostly sunny skies. And then looking ahead to next week, although temperatures will be more fall like still above normal for this time of year. By the time we get into next week, our normal average high is 66 degrees, so we'll be above that, but still Man. cooler than where we are today right, in the 80s. Right. So we will take it and then we'll